I got interested in earth science since I was a kid, I would say. I always liked uh, stones and rocks and uh, with my family, we used to go on holidays in the Alps. And I, my mom, she used to tell me that my backpack was always heavier on the way back than on the way up, even though we had food on the way up and not, no more food on the way back because I put rocks and stones in my in my backpack all the time. I'm got interested in earth science uh, because I start to practice uh, different outdoor sports, such as the speleology or rock climbing before the bachelor. So is why I am start to interesting in the earth and our relation with the with this field, scientific field. Oh, as a child, I was always watching those typical documentary movies with my dad. So this was when I first got interested in earth science. So those typical documentary movies about volcanoes, earthquakes, floods, and everything like that. And I was fascinated just how powerful the earth is in general. Before specializing in earth science, I study mathematics. Um, so I did a master's degree in numerical analysis and PDEs, so partial differential equations, first at UCL in London, then at the then UPMC, and now it's part of Sorbonne in Paris. Um, I then worked in Paris a bit for a numerical modeling software company before moving on to do a PhD in Oxford in computational seismology, where my journey in earth science is started. I got a degree in physics at the University of Pisa. And, and as I said, I approached the earth sciences for my uh, master thesis. Um, then I got um, a PhD in the, uh, what is called the numerical modeling for the environmental protection uh, that was offered at the uh, Department of Earth Sciences at the University in Bologna. The path that led me to the earth science is quite funny and unusual because it started with space. I explain. In fact, since, since I was a kid, my biggest dream was to become an astronaut and or at least to work for the European Space Agency and to launch rockets from Kourou in French Guiana. So at the university, I chose to study mechanics and especially fluid mechanics. But during the first year of my master's degree, I discovered acoustics and wave propagation and, and it was a true love at first sight. So as a result, I did a PhD thesis in underwater acoustics and more precisely on the use of interest waves that propagate at the seabed as a tool for recovering the properties of marine sediments. And I discovered by chance earth science during my postdoctoral fellowship. And I worked for 11 years as a researcher in seismic exploration. My main research interests are um, is the physics of earthquakes. And I'm studying them not by going to the field and trying to um, look at outcrops or at, um, yeah, faults in nature, but I'm trying to understand them by running very large computational models. I am interested in the numerical simulations of natural phenomena, especially those related to volcanology. My main research interest in uh, earth science is the seismic source. And uh, what I'm focused on is understanding and describing uh, the source of different seismic events in various environments. And this includes different types of earthquakes, regular earthquake or slow earthquakes, or uh, uh, micro, micro earthquakes, very small earthquakes induced by human activity. And for this, I use seismic data. And another important um, in, in point of my interest are uh, developing the new methods, advanced methods that can allow to better describe and characterize uh, these different seismic sources. In this project, I am studying, uh, I'm working in the urgent seismic uh, computing demonstrator. And I am, I am focused in the development of the workflow to execute uh, urgent seismulations, to estimate ground shaking maps a um, few hours, few minutes after the earthquake occurs. Within the cheese pro uh, project, I'm a PI for LMU Munich. So I'm leading a team which is at the moment consisting of two postdocs and uh, one PhD student. And um, we are also leading um, a pilot demonstrator that is called Physics Based Seismic Hazard 
assessment in a probabilistic sense. So we're trying to use computation models and physics-based models to improve um, hazard assessment in terms of earthquakes. And uh, we're doing that to complement um, operational standards, which are mostly empirical. So they're mostly relying on experiences from previous earthquakes. And we're trying to complement them with um, solving um, equations and uh, using large computers to account for the complexity of our Earth when doing so. Within Chi's project, I am the pilot demonstrator leader for a pilot demonstrator that is on volcanic hazard assessment. And uh, what we do is to try to exploit the, the use of, of uh, HPC resources to uh, compute many uh, simulations of ash fallout, volcanic ash fallout over a large domain at a high resolution and trying to put these, the results of this simulation in a workflow that provides um, hazard maps, both in the long term, that we would say decades, 50 years, for example, and also in the short term, that is the hazard for tomorrow, let's say for the airports, for the air routes, or also for ash on the roofs. We do this at two test volcanoes that are Campi Flegrei in Italy and uh, Jan Mayen, which is an island in the North Atlantic belonging to Norway. What I like in being a researcher, I guess, is the chance to do something useful. So working in a, as a researcher in, a, in an operational environment, as it is the Icelandic Meteorological Office, makes you to realize, realize that you can do the difference and, and that your work can indeed have a real impact on, on people's life and security. As a researcher, I really love uh, thinking about how to resolve complicated issues and finding appropriate clues. Being a researcher is like being a private investigator. You must crack the, the riddles. I also really enjoy traveling for attending conferences and meeting scientists from all around the world. Sometimes true and deep friendships are born during these meetings and, and they nourish the, the soul at least mine. Uh, as a researcher, I really love to travel a lot. Uh, I love to go to conferences. I love to meet new people. And I love that you're able to collaborate always with a lot of people. So especially in our project, we have so many institutions in there. So we are able to travel, to meet people, uh, to learn more from new people. And I really love this. And um, I also really love to work on something new. So you're always able to explore something new. And this is not the case in other work. My advice to young girls who want to have a career in science is to remember that science is for everyone. And not being a man is definitely not an obstacle to a career in science. Also find good mentors around you who will listen to you, who will brainstorm with you and support you in your interest in science. I've always been encouraged to do mathematics, probably mostly by my parents, um, but the ultimate push to choose it as a degree came from my high school maths teacher. And believe it or not, it's been well more than, way more than 10 years ago now, but I still call her sometimes to ask her for her opinion and hear some words of encouragement or caution. Uh, so my advice to the young girls would be, if you find it interesting and you, it excites you, go for it. Um, remember to stay focused and uh, be critical. Always ask questions. Reach out to your peers. Now there is a lot of ways to be informed. And you may find that if you have problems or some information that is missing, others already thought of this. And this is very important to be connected. And uh, the most important point, I think, is just have fun. It's always important to uh, have fun and enjoy what you're doing. I would advise just um, follow your motivations and go for it, because this is what I do. Happy, Happy International, International Day of Women and Girls in Science. Science. Happy, Happy International, International Day of Women and Girls in Science. Science. Happy International, International Day, Day of Women and Girls in Science. Women and Women and Girls in Science. Science.